the health department has suspended screening at the Bite Bridge border post to allow traffic to flow and to get through. It comes after the deaths of at least 15 people who are waiting to cross into Zimbabwe from South Africa. The department says it has to ensure the safety of all South Africans. Initially, they were also raising issues that uh, there was a long time being taken in terms of the COVID screening and the COVID testing. And one thing that was very confusing for us was that the main, uh, the main backlog was on the outgoing trucks. And our, we don't require a test when you're going out of the country. So we were only doing the temperature screening and only filling in the forms. But even then, we decided that uh, just to uh, ensure that there is a flow, we suspended even that part of it. Uh, but uh, uh, then we were told that they were unhappy that when they're supposed to come back to the country, uh, they're supposed to do the, uh, the testing. Uh, we then consulted the two ministers at a meeting, and we then gave an exemption again to say during this period uh, so that we can uh, get a, a good flow. We want to give the responsibility to the trucking industry itself to ensure that they are tested because the validity period for the test is 30 days. Uh, so this afternoon then when I spoke to the DG uh, of Home Affairs who was on site, he was telling me that they started to see the movement uh, in the area um, uh, just to get uh, to ensure that people are moving in. Uh, but also what they told me that the major issue was that some of the traffic control measures were not in place, which was really affecting the movement of the trucks. But inside the port itself, they told me that actually what's happening there, there is not really a big issue. The people were moving, the counters were working very well. It was before the actual border there, there was an issue in terms of the traffic control for the trackers.